so excited we're making churros today. Churros are actually exist all over Latin America. It's the Latin American fried donut. Typically in Mexico, when you go to a churria, there's a dipping sauce that accompanies it. It's normally like a deep, dark, bitter chocolate sauce. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a vanilla bean, we're gonna split it completely in half and scrape it down. And then we're going to put some heavy cream, some brown sugar, some cocoa powder, and some espresso powder and salt. We want to heat the cream just enough to melt the chocolate. We're almost simmering. So you can see we're starting to bubble up, cut the heat. Now we're just going to add in the chopped chocolate. It'll thicken up as it sits. While our sauce is cooling, I'm going to start the dough. Just take this butter and cut it in small pieces. So we're basically making a really simple shoe pastry. This is the kind of dough that is used for cream buffs and eclairs. We're gonna put half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, sugar, some salt, and the other half of the vanilla bean. We're gonna take this to the stove. Um, so all we really wanna do here is bring the milk to a simmer and melt the butter. As soon as you see all the butter melted, uh, and some bubbles starting to form around the edges of the pot, we're gonna throw in our flour. And now you wanna vigorously stir this. Keep it on the heat. See the edges are bubbling, but you wanna really stir that in. Turn the heat off, and the dough's ready. I'm gonna just dump the dough. I'm gonna pull out the vanilla bean. We're just gonna let this cool off for about five minutes so that the eggs don't get scrambled when we add those in. And we'll just mix in our cinnamon and sugar. So I'm using organic sugar. The granules are, are slightly larger than granulated sugar. So you get a little extra crunch on the outside of the churro, which I like. I'm also using Ceylon cinnamon or canela, which is what is used typically in Mexico. It's a little bit more floral and brighter. So it's not that cinnamon roll kind of cinnamon flavor. So we wanna put the paddle attachment on. We're gonna crack one egg and add that in. Just start beating slowly at first, and you'll see it's gonna look really separated and broken, but it'll come together. Crack another egg in there. When I was developing this recipe, a lot of it was just finding that balance between the crispy outside and the custardy inside. And I landed on three eggs. So you can see how nice this dough is. It's really soft and pliable. I'll show you a little trick for uh, filling this bag. You wanna open up your bag. Put one hand underneath the, uh, the ridge like that. Make sure the opening is nice and wide. I like to use a spatula and then just fill that guy up like that. And then you can use your hand in the bag to kind of clean off the spatula. All right. All right, so now the dough's in there, I am going to twist, pinch, and just do that until you see the dough coming up to the tip. All right, now we're ready to fry. I usually hold with one hand and you just squeeze from the top. Take a paring knife and you're gonna cut the dough off at the tip. So you basically wanna do like six inch lengths. Give a nice little twist. You don't wanna crowd the pan because these things expand quite a bit. So you just wanna let these go probably about three to four minutes per side. As they cook, they're gonna puff up. As soon as they get golden brown on one side, just flip them over, cook them for another three to four minutes on the second side. All right, these boys are done. While those are cooking, I have made a little bit of Mexican hot chocolate. It's a perfect drink to have while you're making churros. Now, you just wanna take your warm or hot churros, kinda of toss them around in the sugar. I just, I love the way that cinnamon smells. It's so, so beautiful. It reminds me of Mexico. Mm. You see, the interior is nice and custardy. It's really light, almost like a cream puff. Also, really good dipped in hot chocolate whipped cream.